Hello crafty friends. Today I'm going to share with you some cards I made using the stamp and die set, the small die of the month and our embossing folder of the month for March 2023. For card number one, I wanted to create a dark background with this pretty rainbow effect um, on the front using the die cuts and I will show you the gorgeous paper pad I've used to make the uh, rainbow die cut panels. You can see here I've die cut and glued on my first panel and I'm just going to add glue to the second panel and attach that, making sure it overlaps or meets neatly uh, in the middle there. So I'm using a Hunky Dory Duo Designs paper pad. On one side you get all different ombre rainbow glitter textures or finishes and on the reverse side you get these nice watercolor wash um, blending between multiple different colors and really is a gorgeous paper pad so I've given the butterfly die cut panels time to sit and uh, attach nicely I've also cut out of the same paper that center panel and to do that you need to use the die that comes with the stamp and die set of the month. So while that is all uh, setting up nicely, the glue drying, I'm going to go ahead and decorate my butterflies. Now my butterfly's body, I've cut out of the same black cardstock that's behind my die cut panels. And then I've chosen to use a pale green cardstock that came from one of our monthly card making kits. And that's the base for my uh, pretty flowers to go on top. So you can see that the little flower panels fit in there really neatly. And I'm then going to go ahead and attach flowers to those pieces. And my flowers I've cut out using the same rainbow patterned paper, but I've used the scraps from the uh, original die cutting. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue on all those base flowers. Now I've tried to make sure that my flowers go in order of the uh, rainbow background for the main die cut panels. And that's why my two butterflies are different colors. Now I'm bringing in different colored gemstones from Hunky Dory Crafts. And I'm gonna go through and match those up as best as I can to the colors of my flowers. And those yellow flowers there, they're slightly larger than the other flowers. So I've put larger gemstones on there. Same with the purple uh, flowers on the second butterfly, I'm just using larger gemstones there. And we'll get those all attached and then we can go ahead and place our butterflies onto our background. Now, I went ahead and put glue all around the edges of my butterfly and then realized that that wasn't necessary because I was going to pop them up on foam tape or the foam squares from our card kit so that they had some dimension. So when you do it, and if you're gonna pop it up on uh, foam tape, you don't need to put glue all the way around like I did. Uh, for the second butterfly, I realized what I'd done and I just put the glue in the middle of the butterfly, center of where his body will be, and then the two foam squares, one on each wing. You need to hold it down in the middle of the butterfly while the glue attaches just so that it won't pop up. Now I've brought in these really pretty metallic flip pens by Spectrum Noir and they have this color change ability so when you tilt it different angles in the light you'll get different colors from each pen. So I've decided it's going to have a birthday wishes sentiment and I'm using 
uh, black cardstock because these pens work really well on black cardstock and I've used three layers with my sentiment there stacked up the die cut so we've got dimension and you'll see I'm just going to use different colors of the pen so that it too reflects the rainbow colors of the actual uh, background that it's going on to. Just finishing up and you can see there the blue has a lot of yellow reflecting in it at the moment and there's my sentiment. All right so I'm going to attach that into the center panel there and then I'm going to attach the birthday part of the sentiment and you can see it just fits into that framed area. Now I can go ahead and attach my card panel to the front of my card. And once I have that nice and firmly attached and lined up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up on some details. And you can see there I've laid up some of the little flowers which I have shaped with a flower shaping tool. And then I've gone ahead and added some stickles into the centers. Card number two, I'm going to emboss onto some paper our beautiful filigree floral butterflies. And I'm then going to go ahead and use gold embossing powder. And you can see there I'm using this Ranger one. And I will shake that over, make sure I've got good coverage and just check any spots that might have been missed. Tap off the excess and then I will go ahead and melt our powder to get that beautiful gold luster. And the second one there, I actually will go ahead and emboss the other design as well twice. So I've got two butterflies done there. To decorate my butterflies, I'm using these Komaribi uh, watercolour paints and they're a dual metallic and I'm going to go ahead and just paint in some of the de details of the stamped images. And I'll go through and try and use um, each of the colors because I'm going to create another rainbow background or use a background with lots of rainbow colors and then attach our beautiful butterflies onto that. And you can see I'm just taking a little bit of paint each time. I don't want to overload my brush. Doing that would um, mean that the colour would run out of the area that the embossing's in and then bleed into other areas. For my butterflies, I'm going to go ahead and paint the backgrounds in the green metallic colour. Just showing you there the pretty paper that I'm using from Hunky Dory and it's got this beautiful uh, cloudy magical background. I then have cut out from Spellbinders paper two of our butterfly panels in the gold metallic paper and it does cut beautifully with this die. I need to weight that and give it time to set because being a metallic cardstock, the glue does take longer to dry. I'll do the second panel now and attach that, trying to make sure I don't have any glue squish out from underneath. And then I have also cut and watercolored a rainbow panel, which has also been heat embossed. And then I've stamped the You Are So Kind sentiment in there. That was a close-up of at my butterfly. Now, this is a different butterfly to what you saw me painting uh, earlier. You will see where that green background butterfly goes shortly. But this is the rainbow butterflies that I've painted on there. And you can see the watercolors really give nice coverage and have a beautiful luster about them. So I'm getting both my butterflies and my sentiment panel uh, set in place. I then thought I'd try some um, Touch of Gloss by Pink and Main 
over some of the floral details of the watercolored butterflies and we'll see how that goes it will dry glossy and it will give a little bit more texture and dimension to those butterflies uh, but I thought it might be an interesting experiment now I'm taking the flower shaping tool on the end of my tool in one and I've shaped up some flowers using the colored cardstock and I'm just going to attach those tiny little flowers into the center of those uh, flowers that you can see have been die cut. I need to put some centers in my flowers so I'm using this gilded gold vintage drop by Nuvo and I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of a drop into the center of the cards and then my flowers will be fully embellished. Okay, turn my card back around the right way. Have to be really careful not to put your fingers in the wet stuff. But there you have it, my card, it's all finished. Card number three, I'm going to use our embossing folder and then I'm going to use the hem stitched rectangles from Spellbinders as well. So you can see there I've embossed a dark pinky red coral toned paper and then die cut it with the hem stitch dies. That's going to be my background layer. Then I've cut another smaller piece in this pale peachy pink and I've popped that up on some foam tape. So we've got dimension happening there. Now here are my two green butterflies. You see me, saw me watercolor earlier and they're gonna go onto my card base, popped up with more foam dimension. And I will just make sure that I hold it down in the center as well as pressing down the wings so they attach. And again, same thing, hold them down in the center, make sure the foam attaches as well. So next, we're going to go ahead and add in some decoration. And I'm just showing you there that I've gone ahead and watercolored onto some cardstock so that I could then die cut some floral elements out in the matching green of the butterflies. So I'm going to go ahead and add two sprigs to the sides of each butterfly. And then I'll bring in the individual flower and pop that up above the larger sprigs. Okay, and just positioning the ends underneath there. So now I've got that done to both my butterflies. And again, just showing you there that I've used the paints and colored some uh, normal cardstock so I could have matching uh, watercolor paper to make my florals. So you can see there, I'm just pushing down in the center of my flowers to make them curl up a little. And that's going to give them some lovely dimension to go with the dimension on our popped up butterflies. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread the colors around my butterfly with the flowers. And you can see that they really do match nicely with the paints on the butterflies because they have been watercolored and then die cut. Into the center of these flowers, I'm going to add some of the Spell die, Spellbinders Fashion Gold dots. I'm using the smallest sizes. I do also add a little bit of glue into the centers. I wanna make sure my uh, little um, centers stay in place. You do have to be careful not to squish out too much of the glue and that did happen for one or two of them there. Um, but it will dry clear so it's not a huge problem. Okay, just using that tool in one to then angle uh, the flowers where I want them to go. And you can see that um, I am putting one of the medium sized gold uh, dots or pearls into those larger flowers. Then I have cut out congrats from one of our uh, Spellbinders small sentiment 
uh, die sets that were uh, part of a kit from a couple years ago and that has been popped up on three layers of white cardstock and then the gold on top. I'm just going to go over the body of our butterfly and the antenna, antennas <laughs> and then uh, with the touch of gloss as well and that's my third card finished. Very pretty. Card four and five, I haven't recorded the process, but I will show you the finished cards. So this one you can see is very simple. I've decorated the butterflies with some Nouveau Dream Drop. I've also gone around the center panel where the sentiment goes with Dream Drops and then included our sentiment from the die set and a little flower to decorate. Card number five, I've used pattern paper to put behind our die cut panels. I've then used some pink and maned two-toned pearls to put in the center of my flowers there and also the flowers in the die cut panels. I've cut flowers using last month's large die of the month to uh, add that little bit of extra decoration. And then I've used a pink fresh sentiment into the center of my card. So let's have a look at the five cards I've made using the small die of the month. And you can see there just how pretty the cards look. Well, I think they look pretty. Um, be interested to know if you guys have a favorite or um, if there's a particular style of uh, or technique that I've used that you've enjoyed today. So please join me again shortly. Have a crafty day. And until next time, bye bye for now.